Chase Pink. Welcome back and I have another fierce, fabulous, colorful bob which you all have been requesting and this one is by RPG Show. It is their Touched by Tim Eggplant Purple Casual Wavy Full Lace Wig and the hairline is super natural and that's going to be the highlight of today's review. And of course I wanted to give you an overview of the cap construction and I'll have all these specifications listed to the side of the video. Now I'm just trying this on. I haven't even removed the lace. Girl, do you see the parting space and the front of the unit? Super natural. They thinned it out very well. I was feeling myself, okay? Because it makes it easier even if you're a beginner and you're not a pro and you don't want to bleach those knots. So if you are someone who isn't bothered by the knots showing in the parting space, this is perfect for you. And as you can see, the hairline, it has divots. It's not as dense towards the front. Very well executed. For me, I am a stickler and I don't like to see the knots in the parting space. Bleaching the knots is very scary to me. I'm not a professional. I've tried it once and the bleach kind of extended a little farther past the roots. And with practice, I'll get better. But for me, just squeezing the area of the parting space helps to make it that much more natural. Just perfect for someone like myself. And be sure to use your comb to go through the length of the hair to pull out any shed hairs. And as you guys can see, right in the area of the parting space, you do not see the black knots. And I like that. But I will say the color consistency is a little off. As you guys can see, there is you know, some inconsistencies and I think that is one of the biggest concerns that many of you have, but I wanted to highlight that and hopefully you guys have a consistent color or dye job. Now I'm going in with my pressed powder by Maybelline and I just wanna push this into the lace right before that lace trimming. And I use the free spray to kind of hold it into place. And as you guys can see, it got darker in color and it just holds it together and sticks it down. And if you get any hair on the top layer, just use a soft bristle brush to dust it away. Now I am using the Ultra Glued by Gots To Be. And I just wanna push this into my hairline making sure to pull my wig cap back and then I follow with the freeze spray. I'm gonna be very generous with that. And I repeat this a second time and then I'm ready to put on the wig. Find your placement. If you need to make a little mark to figure out where to place your unit, I highly recommend doing so. You don't want it to be you know, too far back or too far forward. But once you figure out the placement, I want you guys to look at how the hairline is on the side. My natural hairline isn't peeking out. I really like how they did that. Now I'm just gonna wrap my you know, wig to secure it in place for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is what keeps it down. But after 10 minutes, I'm gonna take it off and be very gentle towards the front hairline. And if there's like white residue, I just use water to clean it up and because you can see the demarcation of my wig cap i just wanted to use a bit of concealer to kind of blend that away and kind of make it look a little bit you know invisible discreet i probably should have brought the wig cap a little more forward but you know you live and you learn make sure you learn from this and because i love a straight bob i wanted to see how this unit looked when i straightened it i have to say that this hair is a lot longer than 12 inches almost five inches i'll show you guys a clip the hair is about 17 inches in length in some longer parts but i happen to love that i don't mind but i guess when it's wavy it measures about 12 inches but which one do you guys prefer the wavy look or the straight look I cannot get over both styles. Both look gorgeous. Let me know in the comment section and take the polls, girls. Subscribe for more. Check out my wig playlist. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up for more bob hairstyles, and I will see you in the next one.